Hey man, are you ready to experience the world's best digital audio workstation? The industry standard, Pro Tools? <laughs> well, Wavy Wayne is here to help you get Pro Tools downloaded and installed on your Mac system right now. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and you know it, this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster, man. I'm live right now in Studio B. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a new little spot, you know. Shout out to my mans. <laughs> That's a W. That's E1. That's E1. That's a W. But we over in Studio B right now, and I'm going to be setting up Pro Tools on this system for the very first time. So I want to walk y'all through the process of, for, for one, choosing which Pro Tools system I'm going to buy and download, getting it downloaded, installed, and set up on my Mac computer. This is the M1 uh, Mac computer, so I'm going to be getting it downloaded and installed with you all. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go right to avid.com. When you get here, just go ahead and click on the Pro Tools tab. And you know what? I'm going to come down and hit buy now because we already know that we want to buy Pro Tools. There's no other DAW. All right, so which Pro Tools audio software is right for you? Are we doing Pro Tools or Pro Tools Ultimate? Let's explore some of the differences between the two. So Pro Tools Standard, the essential tools to compose, record, and mix music and audio. And then this is the ultimate tool set for professional music and audio post-production. All right, so um, Pro Tools, you can get 64 channels of I.O., and 192 channels of I.O. with HDX on Pro Tools Ultimate. So 64 channels of I.O., that means total inputs and outputs that you could have attached to your Pro Tools system, and you can have all the way up to 192. So if 64 channels of microphones and keyboards and guitars and all these effects and instruments and outputs routing, if 64 channels is not enough for you, you're going to need the Pro Tools Ultimate, all right? Mm -hmm. You can have up to 256 mono or stereo audio tracks if you go to Pro Tools Ultimate however you can have oh, 2048 mono stereo or surround tracks in your session in Pro Tools standard you get one video track 64 video tracks in Pro Tools Ultimate so if you are working on post-production projects you're working on your next big movie you're probably gonna want to use Pro Tools Ultimate all right uh, same sample rate all right, same amount of uh, same sample rate and same uh, bit depth quality. So that means that your audio quality, no matter whether you're using Pro Tools Ultimate or Pro Tools uh, Standard, is going to be the exact same audio quality. That's one of the big misconceptions that people think that uh, somehow uh, Pro Tools Ultimate or what used to be called Pro Tools HD had a better sound quality than standard Pro Tools, and that's just not the fact at all. Um, their sound quality is going to be dependent on your hardware, not your software, okay? Um, Multi-channel mixing, mono or stereo, if you want to mix in immersive sound formats like Dolby Atmos, surround sound, uh, you're going to need uh, Pro Tools Ultimate. You get uh, some $2,000 in free plugins and sound libraries and training content, not including this video right here, you know? <laughs> Pro Tools Carbon and Core Audio Interfaces, um, okay, are compatible. And it's just telling you which uh, interfaces are compatible. So honestly, most of you out there are going to just be uh, starting with standard Pro Tools. That's perfectly fine. I rock with standard Pro Tools, I think is more than what most people will need for music production. Again, if you are doing some extreme um, uh, video workflow and post-production workflow, then you may need to go ahead and get the Pro Tools Ultimate, but I know that most people are gonna be good with the standard. So here I go, Pro Tools subscription pricing. That's how I would recommend buying Pro Tools right now. It's one of the easiest ways to get into it. Let's take a look at the different uh, subscription models that we have, all right? So you can do a one-year subscription paid up front for $299. I mean, you paid a whole $300 bucks up front right now today. Or you got the $29.99 one-year subscription that's paid monthly. So it seems like you save um, like two months off of your price if you uh, just pay it all up front, which will be like 60 bucks ultimately because you're going to end up paying $30 a month 
uh, for 12 months, and that will be the equivalent uh, to paying that same 30 for 10 months if you just got the year, okay? Um, if you, and but that'll also lock you into an agreement that you're gonna agree to pay for the year to get that discount because they also have another choice here, the $34.99, that's just a month to month. Maybe you're just trying it, you wanna get your feet wet. You don't wanna necessarily be committed to a year long subscription with Pro Tools, so you might wanna just go with that month to month. But we know that we are gonna be using Pro Tools for a while, so I'm gonna just start off with the monthly subscription. It's a low entry, uh, a low barrier for of entry for us, so we can just jump right in and start using Pro Tools for the dirty 30, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the cart, and we are gonna check out. All right, y'all, so after you get your Pro Tools purchase, you wanna navigate to the My Products page of your profile. So you see here, we just purchased a one-year Pro Tools subscription. It's active, and now I need to download my Pro Tools uh, software. So if I hit this little download uh, arrow here, view software, download links and product details, this will open up to a new little portion where I can see all of the different downloads that are available. This is where a lot of people go wrong and they don't end up downloading everything that they can and they miss out on some of the plugins and virtual instruments that are included with their Pro Tools. So um, right now I wanna use the Mac Pro Tools 2012.12. 2021.12, sorry, yeah. Uh, Pro Tools 2021.12 installer for the Mac. So I'm going to choose that. Yes. Okay. Pro Tools demo session. Do I want to install that? Nah, I'm good on that. Uh, Pro Tools installation instructions and user guide. Nah, I am the installation instructions for y'all, okay? Now, um, let's see. Avid complete bundle. What else do I want to download? The um, 304 bundle, uh, yeah, I, I think I do wanna download that. I don't know what that is, but let's download that. The Air Effects bundle, absolutely we wanna download that. All right, the Classic Compressors bundle, yes, we wanna download that. 11 Effects, yeah, we wanna download that. And with the Mark II, we definitely want the Air Instruments bundle. Do we want that focus right bundle? Might as well. We want that graphic EQ? Absolutely. We got a lot of stuff to install here, okay? So we're gonna go to the impact. Yes, we want that Mooger Fuger bundle. We want that Pro Compressor bundle. We want all of these, right? I'm gonna come back and download all of these things because everything is included. You X form, uh, expand to. You got all of these different uh, tools that you can start using right away, right out the box from virtual instruments to uh, compressors and everything else. Um, so I'm gonna start off though by just installing basic Pro Tools first. So I'm gonna go over to the downloads and you'll see all of the downloads that I just got going. Let's go to the main one, Pro Tools, right? You gotta make sure you install this one first, obviously. So I'm gonna double click on that package and then double click where it says the download and then just hit allow anything where to say, okay? We're gonna install on here. We're gonna put the password in, boom. Just like that, it's, it's just that easy. The first package is installed, the installer. So now we're gonna go through the Pro Tools installer. Hit agree. Yes, this is gonna take 3.17 gigabytes of space on your computer. That's all good, we're gonna do it. That's what we bought this computer for. Okay, and we're just gonna sit back and wait. It definitely shouldn't take long on that brand new M1 Mac, so you should be pretty quick with getting this installed. You see, it say about two minutes, man. So while we got two minutes, have you been to wavywayne.com yet and copped you a pair of the Wavy One Studio headphones, B? You definitely need these. You're getting your Pro Tools up. The last thing you need is to have the music bleeding all off into the microphone or for you to not be able to accurately hear what it is that you're recording or trying to mix. The Wavy One Studio headphones help eliminate that because they are passively attenuating. That means they attenuate 33.4 dB of sound from escaping the headphones, but also going in so that you can hear only what you are playing through the headphones. All right, wavywayne.com, grab you a pair or two for your studio, all right? So 
Now this computer, the user already has an iLock account. If you don't have an iLock account, you need to go to iLock.com and create one and um, make sure that you link your Pro Tools account with your iLock account, all right? So let's go over to my installer and see where we at. Just a few more minutes remaining, not that long, and we should be good. Now, I do have all of the rest of these installs to do as well. You could go ahead and run each one of these different installation uh, packages to make sure that you have all of your effects and plugins and everything like that before you even launch the Pro Tools for the first time. Um, but I'm just gonna probably end up installing one of the packages, but they all are super important, right? If you have the space on your computer, make sure you install them all. And you see these packages, most of them, they aren't very large in size anyway. Um, one of the biggest being the Air, um, the Air Instruments bundle, which is definitely one of the essentials that you wanna get. So it's in less than a minute, but you know how these things is. It's been over a minute, so. Much later. Because our installation was successful. We just need to close that. We can move that little installer to the trash. It'll always be available on your avid.com account in that little product section, okay? Now I told y'all that um, the air effects is pretty important, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this bundle. I'm gonna open that up too. Just to walk y'all through this, and all the rest of them are gonna be the exact same, right? They're just gonna tell you, hey man, we wanna install this stuff. Here's what we're gonna install it. Do you agree? Blah, da, blah, da, blah, blah. Yes, what do I want? I want the virtual instruments and I want content for the virtual instruments. Yes, give me all of that. Remaining, okay, we, it's gonna, the space required is 3.6 gigabytes, all right? So it's gonna take a little bit of time too. We're gonna go ahead and hit install. While that's installing, I'll finish telling you about the Wavy Seals Elite. So the Wavy Seals Elite is the membership organization, one of the only online that is actually creating a network for producers and engineers to come together and learn, right? Not only do you get mentorship from me through our weekly Q&A meetings, we also have practice sessions, mixing competitions. We're putting together an EP together to where we're also, we're collaborating and we're also gonna share in the revenue on this project product that we're, um, that we're putting out. So we're learning the full, uh, song creation process, putting it out together, and learning a whole hell of a lot about mixing and recording at the same time. If you're interested in higher level thinking about your mixing and recording, your studio workflow, definitely tap in with the Wavy Seals Elite, all right? Um, while this finishes, I'm gonna go uh, grab a little water. We'll be right back. All right, so that installation has just finished, and we back like cooked yams in the kitchen you feel me i'm gonna go ahead and launch pro tools so i love how pro tools is right here on my dock now on my mac though i'm gonna click and drag it and bring that thing front and center we don't want no apple tv front and center move that to the side b this is all about the pro tools don't forget though we still have a bunch of other plugins and components to install um, so take your time and make sure you get them all installed so that you can make the most out of your pro Tools system so we got the little ball jumping Pro Tools logo jumping, that's what it do when it's trying to find its bearings for the first time. It's like a little bird that then fell out the uh, uh, nest and you try and figure out how to flap the wings, you know? But once that thing come through for the first time and they get everything loaded up, get all the cash, um, get everything allocated, then we'll be good. And Pro Tools is launching for the very first time. It didn't even take us that long. Um, I'm excited about Pro Tools, like a new Pro Tools baby, man. It's christening this computer with the world's best DAW. So it's loading up the plugins that we have, it's scanning for more plugins. Um, after you go back and install the rest of the plugins um, that we need to download and this, the rest that we have download, make sure you have Pro Tools shut down um, as you're installing all those uh, plugins and then um, boot it back up again. It might be also a good idea to just do a full restart of the whole computer um, from there. All right, would you like to send usage and diagnosis to Avid? Nah, we don't wanna just be sending all our information. But here we are, yo, this is the Pro Tools starting point, the dashboard. I have videos explaining all about um, how to get started in Pro Tools and take you from this point and beyond. If you wanna tap in with that and actually get a re industry recognized certification in this software, click down in the link below and I can take you so much further than this starting screen. So let's just first, I'm gonna start this and name it first session. 
All right, and for now, we just gonna hit create just so we can see that beautiful Pro Tools session open up in dark mode. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and I am here to help you to record and mix better and faster, man. We just got Pro Tools loaded up on our brand new M1 Mac. I hope you start making and creating all the goodness. Can't wait to hear what you make. Be dope. Thank you. 